country will the Brexit vote? But we've seen at the heart of the Leave campaign, as we've heard, the big lies that have been exposed. They lied, they broke electoral uh, law, they've been even been reported to the police. Uh, but of course, the Met tells us that they, uh, they can't investigate for the time being because of uh, political sensitivities. Yes, uh, you're right. It's a pretty sensitive thing, isn't it? Lying to 17.4 million people. Mm. You know, people say that having a people's vote will somehow undermine uh, trust in democracy. Well, it's the opposite that's the case. People have seen those lies ex uh, exposed. And it's by having a people's vote that we will restore people's faith in democracy, rebuild that trust uh, that has been so badly damaged by the charlatans at the heart uh, of the Leave campaign that have left the scene now of their own political crime. Uh, this wasn't a manifestation of democracy. It was an attempt to manipulate, manipulate people. You know, we've had fake news, haven't we? Well, what we had in the Leave campaign was fake news served up to the people of our countries. And that's why it's so, so important that we win, uh, win this campaign. And I welcome, uh, I welcome the, uh, uh, the call for cross-party work. <laughs> we tried, of course, in this parliament behind us yeah. to build that cross-party alliance. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. put down a vote. Yeah. Yeah. We put down a vote in favour of our people of this vote. And unfortunately, we didn't get that past that time. But I, I'm all for uh, having a, another go at these things. I'm all for having a second chance. That's all what people who did what it's all about. I, I checked, actually. There was a lot of said for consistency. And uh, uh, I actually called for a second re referendum two days after uh, the 23rd of June in 2016. So at least I've been consistent on, the, on this matter. But look. We lost that vote in that parliament behind us a couple of weeks ago. Well, do you think we should put it to, to the vote again in this yes. parliament? Yes. Yeah. How do you think about that? Yes. And maybe some of the, the, the people, the, the voices that we've heard now have come out bravely. Uh, I think because of the confusion, and unfortunately, that is not just a feature of the UK government, but exists in, in other parties as well. Well, there's an opportunity for us. There's an opportunity for us to put that vote again and to get that cross-party support here in Wales because this parliament uh, behind us, this democracy that we built in Wales could actually be a beacon. It could lead the light. It could actually shine a light on this matter and lead the way across these islands. We can start here and build the movement that will deliver not just the people's vote, but the result that we want in that people's vote for us to remain in the European Union. You know, um, I was an Erasmus student 20, uh, uh, 29 years ago, and uh, I was on the border. I was on the border, be uh, I was in Germany the night the wall came down, that Europe was united. I felt maybe I was on the wrong border. I was on the border between Germany and France that night, <laughs> not in <laughs> Western East Germany. But that was the right border to be on, on, on that night, because I saw young French students and young German students that historic <laughs> night embracing each other with tears in their eyes. And I felt only a generation ago, these same uh, young people might have been fighting uh, each other. That is the great prize, a continent that has been built, that was once at war, that now stands uh, at, uh, at peace. Erasmus, uh, the Erasmus program is a great encapsulation of that hope and optimism for the future. Erasmus himself was born in Rotterdam, but the program was invented by a Welshman, Howell <laughs> Kerry Jones from Leith. We, we have a great, we have a great legacy here. We have a great heritage. Let's build on that. Let's start. Let's start the battle for the people's vote in our Parliament here, and win the argument in that other Parliament down in London in the weeks to come. Yeah. <laughs>